2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Chariot Open is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beeman. It's the final round here, Rich. What's our next player up against as they begin it? Never easy going to bed with the lead, and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I got to say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited, and they have to, have to like their chances going into this final round. Let's get down to the action. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. <laughs> Nicely done. Five victories under their belt this season. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Looking better. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Currently in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Not a bad line, this one. From around 180 yards out. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. High-quality shot, that one, right next to the hole. Birdie at the last. This for another. And this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. Nice birdie. Well played. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one.
Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. And now we head to the 17th, and this happened just a moment ago. Lining up for his third now. Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. And this is an extremely long putt. He might even have to hinge on this one. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. This one's looking good. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Teeing off here at the fourth. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. <laughs> Playing from around 150 yards here. And choosing the eight iron here. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, Rich, that's the special stuff. Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Wow. That'll certainly keep the momentum rolling. Big chip in there, Rich. That was spectacular, Luke. Great work. Great shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. 
this hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Got all of that one, using all the power to try and take it deep under par. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like they've got about 38 feet to the cup. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And good look at Birdie here. Nice one. Fourth Birdie of the day. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. We've arrived at a par four hole. Second shot here on the sixth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's a good looking shot there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Go in. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Going with the eight iron here. Yeah. 
Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. This one's for Birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, I'm following Tony Fee now at the moment. This is the eighth hole. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Yeah, that was silky smooth out of the sand. Good shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Absolutely tattooed that one. Second shot here on the eighth. And here we are with the third shot. That's on the green, but still a fair way from the hole. And this one is for his par. It's got a chance. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Opting for the three wood. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Putting for birdie. by the hole pretty straightforward four footer coming up here oh nice line 
Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Uh, absolutely. You dream of being in this position. Ahead by a bunch with just a few holes to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Interesting choice of the driver here. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Playing their fifth shot. That is outstanding and snatches a birdie as well. Taking a chance and getting it correct. The flop shot works once again. Let's get back to it, shall we? Getting ready to play their third. Okay, safely on the surface. A chance for the putt to be hold here. Lining up the birdie putt here. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. This one started out on a good line. Oh, that's good grit there. And that is a nice birdie from the bunker. Way to go. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings and i don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four good looking shot this Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Going with the five wood. That dog will hunt. Well, this will be a bonus. Right on 17 feet from here. Ouch, that hurts. You can make this one. It's for par.
Looks good off the blade. That's well hold. He sits in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the hybrid. Good shot there. This putt from around 18 feet. It's tracking. Ooh. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on the 13th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Lovely effort, that. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Solid par putt, that. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. We have a par four on this one. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Yeah, that one's looking good.
That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. This one has eyes for the hole. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. John, what's going on out there? Down on the 15th hole now, guys. This is JT setting up his next shot. Time for the fifth shot. Hmm. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? And with that, he'll move to four under par. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Mm -hmm. A thick of beauty. Second shot here on the 15th. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Would be nice to make this putt. This is for Eagle. Oh, so close. Three feet to go here to the hole. It's on a good line. Oh, that's some handy golf. What a time to make back-to-back -back birdies. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. This is their fifth shot. Whew. Wow, what a save. Needed it. Needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. <laughs> the 
This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Oh, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Woo-wee. They show movies on flights shorter than that. Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament as one of the strong favourites. It hardly seems a surprise, doesn't it? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favourites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Tracking. Oh, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? And we've arrived at a par three. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Uh, it's just a tad off line, that one. Headed towards the left. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Ah, uh, nicely done. Great chip. Why not take another look at that effort? Oh. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. This is how you do it, seven days a week. And into the hole it goes. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. That one's heading down Broadway. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Top drawer of that tee shot, at least compared to yesterday. Let's take a look and see what happens next. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Well, 
that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. It's all come down to this. A putt for the title. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a fine performance. He's done it. He's won the tournament. Luke, the victories. Winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. And I've got to give props to my boy in the booth, Rich Beam. I think you picked this one at the start of the week, didn't you? Luke, it's just, it wasn't a difficult pick, let's be honest. This player has been consistent all season long. Getting the victory, no surprise whatsoever. Really good stuff. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HP Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.